frontal bone, you can see on the top, uh, squamous part maybe, or next, uh, or the frontal sinus below. Uh, second is next the, uh, where was it? Yes, next to the sinus, because the uh, next to the sinus is open, so lateral wall is removed. You have to be careful with this, because that's why mm -hmm. we see something uh, special. I uh, show this later. Number three is below. Don't do this, but I will open it. Okay, because. Not sure. Alright, so this is number three. This one is the hyoid bone. Number four is the cartilage, the, the thyroid lamina, or lamina of the thyroid cartilage. Number five. Number five is the alar cartilage. Alar cartilage. We are still laterally, you know, in the wing of the nose. Number six. Number six. Uh, that's a good question. Is it the one that looks I like think mine? That, and the nerve. <laughs> because this is the lacrimal gland. gland. This is the lacrimal gland, yes. The or frontal sinus, yes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so lacrimal gland or frontal sinus. I don't know what they want. Not the nerve because the nerve is labeled here. But maybe. Isn't it on the bone? I think there's the answer. If, the, if is here. it is on the bone, yeah, but I don't want to see. Uh -huh. uh, this will be the frontal sinus. Mm -hmm. If the gland, but then I think they should have put on this. Okay, so maybe the frontal sinus. Seven. So Otherwise, this is the gland, but we haven't seen the lacrimal gland. Number seven is where? Okay, number seven is a good question. It's a muscle. It's a muscle. Last time I showed you, because when I remove the mandible, you know, here the mandible, you can see on the inner surface a muscle almost vertically. That is the, which one? <coughs> which is vertical? The medial pterygoid, the medial pterygoid. Okay, medial pterygoid, this one. Number eight, here, on the floor, myelohyoid, yes, innervation is the myelohyoid nerve together with the anterior belly of the gastric, exactly. Okay, number nine, inside, here, uh, it's a good question. Is it in a higher one? Hyoglossus wants to be. Hyoglossus, mm -hmm. it extends more posterior, and you can see the margin of the muscle. Hyoglossus, inside. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Yes, these are the infrahyoid muscles. Now, what is this? The first one from the midline. Sterno, hyoid, sterno, hyoid. Okay, which bridges the whole distance. Then, 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah, homohyoid can be. Yes, homohyoid. It runs laterally. Not seen. Tricky. 12. <laughs> this is the, from the thyroid cartilage to the hyoid bone. Tyro, hyoid is tricky. And if you look at that, this is the oblique line on the thyroid cartilage, if you remember this uh, little ridge on the cartilage, uh, so thyroid lamina. And let, posteriorly, we have another origin. What was this? Which goes backward, you see? Constrictor. Oh. Yes, it's part of the constrictor, the thyropharyngeus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 12 is in front, one of the infrahyoid muscles, the thyrohyoid, and 13 is running backward. <laughs> this is the uh, thyropharyngeus as the Good morning. Good morning, Abdullah. Okay. You're late. It? <laughs> yes. You're too late. <laughs> this is a late session. Have you, you the, have you switched on the phone? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, this is the like oblique it. line? Yes. Yeah, okay. We haven't seen this way, uh, so it's quite deep already. This is the thyrohyoid, 
anteriorly and posteriorly the tyropharyngeus, you know the uh, inferior constrictor has two parts, the tyropharyngeus and below the cryptopharyngeus, which is not seen. 14. Posteriorly, we see two constrictors. 14 is the middle, 15 is the superior constrictor. Okay. Good, everybody see? From behind, you can see this. 14 is the, I don't know, middle, and 15 mm -hmm. is the superior constrictor. Oranges. Okay. 16. Yes, that is easy. Come on, carotid. 17 is the internal carotid, 18 is the external. Now here they forgot to label this little whitish thing. Herring? This is the herring yeah. snur. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Which one? Herring snur. Which runs to the bifurcation, the you know? Yeah, you can see this little mm -hmm. uh, pinkish structure. <laughs> this is the glomus, carotid glomus, you know, with baro and camo receptors here in the sinus. And herring snur runs to here. What is 47? Oh, here, okay. I jumped too much. Uh, <laughs> What I want to uh, tell you otherwise, before I forget, that this is the vagus nerve, mm -hmm. because the third component <coughs> of the carotid sheet is missing, the internal jugular vein, so that is in the middle of the original carotid sheet, mm -hmm. and it gives right this branch, that's why I wanted to tell you this, what was this, then it runs to here. What, which not labeled, not labeled, oh. but it's a good question, the exam. The superior laryngeal nerve. Superior laryngeal nerve originates from here and then runs, you know, to here. To pierce the thyroid uh, membrane together with the superior laryngeal artery here. Okay, that is just 19. Okay, yes, thank you. This is the first branch of the external uh, carotid superior thyroid artery, you know, it descends deeply, even more perpendicularly, and it gives rise a branch, this superior laryngeal artery here. And this is where the run nerves, uh, the, the nerves run. <laughs> so the, the run runs to this point, and this is how we found it. Yes, superior uh, laryngeal nerve. Okay, 20. Now what is 20? Maxillary artery, yes. <laughs> Maxillary artery starts from this point already. So that is already in the middle part. But uh, this is, you know, the last point of the external carotid where it terminates in its uh, final split, which becomes uh, maxillary medially and upward 23, the superficial temporal. Mm. And uh, okay, then we will see the maxillary artery. 20 is maxillary artery, 21. 21 uh, can be two things. Superior thyroid. No, superior oh, thyroid is this. Sorry, oh. I thought that's... Deeply. You can see another artery, that's true. Oh. What is this artery? Lingual, which, lingual, lingual artery, artery yeah. exactly. Lingual artery, you know, which <laughs> runs uh, just above the greater horn. This is the other option for this, the greater horn of the hyoid bone, and the artery just above. If you remember, I showed you. Even I asked you to palpate. This is the artery, this is the greater horn. Okay, 21. 22. Where is it? I know, but I don't tell you. <laughs> Here. Facial artery. You know, that is already the second part, basically, where, where it turns uh, on the face because uh, it gave already uh, three branches, if you remember, the ascending uh, palatine, glandular branches, and the submental, not visible, but. Uh, where does it branch from the external curve? Uh, in our case, it was a common trunk, you know, if you remember? Yeah. In, the head, in the head, in the head, I mean in this head, uh, we have two distinct. So this is the lingual origin and just above. I don't want okay. to yeah. point it because it's really the region. So around the lingual artery, just above or together. Mm. So deeply and then around upward. Okay, so this is facial. 23 is here, I mentioned already. The other end branch of the external carotid, the superficial temporal. From here, we usually have a transverse facial artery 
in the body is present. They forgot to label this artery occipital, occipital artery, occipital <coughs> from the external carotid. So basically, the uh, six of the seven major arteries or branches of the external carotid are visible. Again, superior thyroid, lingual, facial, occipital, you see, which is missing also in the head, the ascending pharyngeal. And the final two are the maxillary artery, anterior and medially, and the superficial temporal. In the textbook, you may find other two, sternocleidomastoid and posterior auricular. These are not visible here, and we don't teach them, so not so important. If you know, of course, it's all right. 23, 24. 24, if this is the artery, I would ask the artery. This is, an, this is a branch of the maxillary. maxillary. What middle is this? No. Middle meningeal, yes, middle meningeal. Middle meningeal, very good, Abdullah. And typically, it is surrounded by this white, as, you see, as, as we could see this uh, in the head as well, the auricular temporal nerve, you know, with this loop-like formation, and then the auricular <coughs> temporal nerve is 41. I can tell you because first it runs from medial to lateral direction, then it goes upward. Okay, 41 auricular temporal, and typically it surrounds the middle meningeal artery with two parts. Foramen spinosum otherwise. Somebody wants to come in, or no. somebody <laughs> has Parkinson's disease? Okay, good. <laughs> or, uh, or didn't drink enough in the morning? Oh, it's, it's the table, it's it's yeah. The table. Yeah, but it's Abdullah, I thought about that. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 24, 25th. This, the second branch of the maxillary, you know, across. This was the middle meningeal, downward, the inferior alveolar. We saw this in our body. Okay, 26. Where is it? 25th is this. 2051 or 26? Downward. 26 is the next. <laughs> no, 26 is interesting. We haven't I think so seen, it's superficial. It's I, I, we haven't seen this way, the nerve. Ah, uh, I know, it's, it's the angular artery. I don't think that Krista Galli is asked. Angular. I think rather the bulb, the olfactory bulb oh, would be. Or Krista Galli, but uh, uh, because 27 is already the olfactory <coughs> tract. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we haven't seen this way. I will dissect it later inside, okay? Olfactory, <laughs> olfactory tract is this. Where it starts would be the olfactory bulb, you know, and from below it receives the olfactory uh, phila, so the first cranial nerve uh, which terminates in the bulb, and uh, otherwise where the labeling is, that is the crystal galli. Yeah. 27, 28. 